communicate with. To improve the quality of education and technological knowledge, including coding and artificial intelligence for its students, the Navy Officers' Wives Association, NOAA, recently unveiled newly refurbished and equipped computer laboratories at its secondary school in Navy Town, Ojo, Lagos. This initiative was led by NOAA President Ijoma Ogala, represented by Vice President Mrs. Zainab Akman, the project was spearheaded by Commander Boney Island, Captain Maskim Mohammed, as a way of giving back to the Nigerian Navy schools from which he greatly benefited during his developmental stage. Destiny Momo has more. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wow. We unveiled, we unveiled the computer lab. This is Commanding Officer Forward Operating Base, Boni, commissioned by Mrs. Blessed Ijoma Ogala, President Naval Officers' Wives Association, on 26th July. Noah has made it a priority to renovate and refurbish these school facilities. And the recent philanthropic efforts of Captain Maxim Mohammed have been particularly impactful and welcomed. During the inauguration of the renovated Ijomarogala Computer Lab, Mrs. Zainab Akpad commended the work done and advised the students and teachers to properly maintain the new facilities and make the best use of the benefits they provide. The school commandant and Captain Maksum Mohammed also expressed fear, appreciation for this necessary improvement. To when we came on board, we saw what was on ground on the school, uh, uh, on the schools, and especially the school that we are. We're not too happy because most of our facilities have really dilapidated, and we needed. The teachers had so many requests, and we know there were things that were so obvious that we needed to put in place. Not to talk of the computer lab and all of that. So, but we took it back to the navy to the chief of. Uh, Naval staff, the CNS, our daddy, which he he responded well to us, and we're all looking forward. And he also mobilized his men to take up this um, project and help us as their wives. And today we are seeing one of a, one of the works being done. And I want to really thank God for our brother, um, Captain Maxum Mohammed, whom the Lord used. God used so much to put he out to bring his best into into the school um by by nature i'm, I'm a very tech swabby person and uh, whether we like it or not we are in an it world right now it rules so anybody there's you don't have no choice you have to key into it if you want to live well in this digital age so my advice to the students is to utilize this to the best of their ability I would like to see students bringing out coding results from here artificial intelligence results from here and we wouldn't mind going a little bit more to intervene a little bit more if it is necessary to achieve that result we want to see some students from NOAA secondary school Navy town build robots achievements to be celebrated today in the school include procurement of new seats for board staff and students, changing of all classroom whiteboards to tile boards, painting of all the buildings in the school, and provision of laboratory equipment and stools and orders. Today marks a significant milestone in our school journey. The transformation of our laboratory is not just about renovation of physical space. It symbolizes our dedication to providing students with the best possible learning environment. Chairperson NOAA Group of Schools alongside the Vice Principal and the beneficiaries speak on the need for the project at this time. They said for the learning environment to be effective, it needs some forms of captivation and upgrade. There have always been computer labs in NOAA schools, but like we all know, the world has changed. Technology 
and the digital world is what is in vogue, visual learning. So we're trying to upgrade. I will tell you that one million wealth will not be enough for me to express my excitement, my euphoria. You see, when you make a learning environment captivating, because children come from different environments to a learning environment, so when you make the learning environment captivating for learners, it makes the teaching exercise very interesting. So I'm impressed that she has taken her time with her team of work, you know, to put this magnificent thing in place. And I pray that we should continue, you know, in this dimension so that generation just to come, when she leaves that post, every other person that will take that position too, we emulate this kind of thing. It's quite impressive. Happy with this. This is a very big, big contribution to our school and with this great facility that um, the NOAA president has given to us, our mistakes is really going to contribute to our education, it's going to ease our learning. And I'm very happy because this is very, very good for, for our education, sorry. It helps the students and the teachers very, very, very well because the students, especially those offering computer data processing, it will help their learning, it will help them in so many ways. Even those who want to further their education in their computer department, it will help them very much. The Naval Officers' Wives Association Secondary School, Navy Town Ojo, was established in the year 2000. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.